The Indonesian government will permanently relocate almost 10,000 residents after a series of explosive eruptions of the Ruang volcano raised concerns about the dangers of residing on the island in future. A minister said on May 3. About 9,800 people live on Ruang Island, in the province of North Sulawesi, but in recent weeks, all residents have been forced to evacuate after the mountain continued to spew incandescent lava and columns of ash kilometers into the sky. The authorities this week raised the alert status of the volcano to the highest level, closed the provincial airport in Monodo, and warned of a possible tsunami if parts of the mountain collapse into the surrounding waters. Hundreds of simple but permanent homes would be built in the Bolang Mangdando area to facilitate the relocations, said Coordinating Human Development Minister Muhaja Effendi. After a cabinet meeting to discuss the volcano on May 3, as instructed by President Joko Widodo, we will build houses that meet disaster standards, he said, adding that the site was located about 200 kilometers from Ruang Island. Mount Ruang began to dramatically erupt in April, with experts saying the eruptions were triggered by increased seismic activity, including deep-sea earthquakes. The mountain erupted again on April 30, causing damage to some homes and forcing residents to evacuate from the Tagulandang Island, where they had initially sought refuge, to the provincial capital of Monodo. Roads and buildings on Tagulandang were blanketed in a thick layer of volcanic ash. And the roofs of some homes had collapsed, according a Reuters witness. The volcano had not erupted on May 3, but Monodo's Sam Rechelangi airport remained closed until the evening due to the spread of volcanic ash. Indonesia straddles the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire, an area of high seismic activity where multiple tectonic plates meet.